a match of the night. What do we got here? A uh, Greninja versus Game and Watch. Two. Well, Greninja see, receives a bit of representation. He's sort of in that high, mid tier range. Game and Watch, on the other hand, the only player I can think of is Meister, and oh, that's yeah. sort of like player carrying the character kind of situation. Oh yeah, Meister's actually crazy. His Game and Watch is legit stuff, dude. He's he's great. Um, but all right, we got that up throw coming out from let's see, Ofi looks like Ofi here. Um, always an interesting matchup to see <laughs> like two odd characters just go against each other. And uh, Game and Watch actually definitely isn't a character to sleep on for sure. He might be small, but he ha he packs a lot of kill power. Already trying to go for the judgment. He's betting on that nine for certain. Uh, I think. Game & Watch, what really makes him good, or what people aren't expecting, are his smash attacks. I feel like all of his smash attacks are uh, unexpectedly good. Like, mm -hmm. I believe his down smash can ground. You see, he was it going does. for it right there. And yeah. if he grounds it, that's a true confirm into the forward smash. Oh yeah, that will kill you as oh. early as 80. If you, don't, if, if, if you mash out of it, then you're fine, obviously. But yeah, that, that move is very powerful indeed. Um, all right, yeah, and what, what was this dude's name here? Is number one? Is oh, I, I pronounced it is no one, but it probably is is number one. He's hoping to be number one at this tournament. Let's see if <laughs> he can game. get that for. Oh, oh see, gosh. there we go. Down smash into forge flash. It's a true confirm if you don't mash out of it. He was at like 60 and mash. It looked like he was mashing his controller, still didn't make it out. So that actually has a lot of grounding time in that move. That's a little ridiculous. It's a move you have to give a lot of respect for sure. Now, Ofi had is number one at the ledge for the second there, but he just led him back. However, Ooh, the going shadow up, sneak. The shadow sneak, yeah. Yeah, that was uh, that was cool. Greninja is all about movement in this game, and I think it's really interesting to see what um, options Greninjas are always throwing out on the stage in neutral. I think that's like the whole uh, mix-up with Greninjas. His movement's critical to his gameplay. It kind of matches with each other. So um, yeah, it's always always interesting to watch uh, Greninjas play and see how like they use Shadow Sneak differently, all that stuff. His um, oh, the counter, wow, that jab almost killing <laughs> the ledge. If he had more rage, that would have taken the stock for sure. I'm surprised he was just stuck there at the ledge. I think he wasn't able to be pushed back because he was stuck on the corner of the ledge and just no way to be pushed back there. And that jab Whoa. will seal the second stock for his number one. It's like a little bad DI. I don't know about that, but I mean, all right. <laughs> we, didn't expect it to, we didn't expect it to kill. I don't think he expected it to kill, but sometimes it's just the weirdest moves have just that surprise factor to them. All right, yeah, great juggles from Ofi. All right, got a full water sure you can there. Coming out, not going to connect here. Um, but is number one holding the stock advantage here. Let's see if Ofi can figure something out. Looks like he's having a really hard time. Just He's throwing out a lot of shadow sneaks, um, a lot of laggy, unsafe options. And I feel like he just needs Oh, food. no! I, I thought, you know, they didn't... I thought it was harder to bounce and like self-destruct after that, but apparently if you still mess up your recovery, you're just gone. No way to come back. Yeah, what even happened there? What do you like what did he I think he just bounced off of the corner of the ledge without grabbing it and for some reason he just couldn't re grab oh, the really ledge? Awkward. I just saw him like fall to his death. He's free he's out here free falling. Yeah. That's what's happening. <laughs> that was actually like That was weird. I've never seen that happen. So that will be game number one for is number one. Uh, Ofi bringing out Kalos as the counter pick. One thing to note, this stage spawn positions got changed for the next patch. Look, they're a bit closer now. Pre oh, okay, not as far back. Yeah, previously I think they were like next to the platforms. Now they're just closer to the center. And I think that was just made to promote less campy, more aggressive gameplay. Okay, that's actually really interesting. I didn't even know they added that. Um, I didn't see that in the patch notes at all. So that's definitely something good to know. Thank you for throwing that out. Yeah, it was one of those uh, unnoticed changes or like unnamed by Nintendo. There were quite a few of them. I think an, a few other stages got spawn position changes as well. But to my knowledge, I think it was both this stage and Smashville. Not sure about Smashville, but this stage for certain. Now, once again, is number one is keeping Ofi trapped at the ledge. Like, I feel like Ofi isn't able to uh, 
safely make it back to the center of stage and take back stage control. He just keeps on retreating to ledge and letting his number one take the stage. Yeah, that's kind of how I brought it up. Like, yeah, he kind of had to do that high recovery there, but it looks like he's having a hard time just holding the stage, staying grounded. He's doing a lot of unsafe options, and his number one's just not giving him any breathing room here. Um, and it looks like Ophi's just getting a little frustrated, trying to figure out what he needs to do. Um, we definitely need to see this um, Greninja go for a lot more dash attacks. Oh I haven't goodness. really seen him implement that. Well, he tried right there, but he's not connecting any of those um, hits, and he definitely needs that early percent. Maybe dash attack, up smash, foot fair. Just need to see him throw something out that will connect. Ophi is just looking lost. However, he does manage to land that shadow sneak, turning the momentum in his favor. But that's the thing, like, while Is number one is able to keep Ophi trapped at the ledge, Ophi isn't able to do the same. Is number one just makes it back for free. He, he doesn't really keep those ledge traps Ooh. on point. Okay, I like that. He did the wall jump there into Bear. Yeah, and you, you, can, you can tell Ophi is getting a bit greedy, throwing out that forward smash, trying to catch Is number one unaware. Another forward air just... Is number one only needs to do is shield it, and then he does the up B out of shield to punish. Forward tilt! Killing off the side. You don't see that very often either. Yeah, Game and Watch definitely packs a punch. Um, his moves pretty much solid, solidly connect and do great damage. He has great damage output. And uh, yeah, is number one holding three stocks to, uh, still here. Ophi definitely needs to figure something out. Um, oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he went for that judgment hammer. He wanted to get that lucky nine. Um, but that was a little cheeky, honestly. That, that would have been very unfortunate for Ophi if, if number one did get that nine. And once again, Ophi is really trying to get him with the smash attack, but every time is no more one just sees it coming and punishes accordingly. Like any time Ophi tries to come in and grab an attack, uh, is no one is number one is anticipating it. He's just not letting him get that hit to seal the stock. And as a result, we might get a three star here. Mm, yeah, we actually might see that. Looks oh. yeah, that F tilt. We gotta take it that last time, but um. Yeah, yeah, that was definitely a solid three stock. But uh, like I say, every time when I come out and commentate, guys, this is definitely a place to practice. And